All right, welcome back to the Crypto ZX channel. You guys know what time it is. It's time to discuss none other than Caspa. If we're looking at the date, September 24th, guys, we're only six days away until the month of September comes to an end and we enter October, the spooky season, one of my favorites. So let's see what is happening with Caspa and where we could see the price uh, heading into the month of October. So if we're looking at Caspa, as of today, it's up 5% um, in USD comparative, while majority of the market still right now is in red. So it's one of the few coins in green right now. And again, not a surprise to myself. So uh, if we're looking at the price, it's at 4.7 cents, up 5% in USD comparative. It's also up 5.8% in Bitcoin comparative right now. Looking at its market cap, 990 dollars one million dollars while wow, i can't even speak at this point and um, um you know it's approaching that billion dollar market valuation and the 24 hour trading volume currently sitting at 10.4 million so what we're seeing is uh compared to the previous days we have seen the trading volume decrease a bit but come on guys we need to remember we did see a little bit of a retracement and bitcoin has also seen a retracement so these are some factors that we do need to keep in mind before we uh kind of you know question these things but let's take a look at the price because everyone is here for the price uh but before we get into it as always just a quick disclaimer that anything on this channel is not financial advice always do your own due diligence and research when you are investing in crypto so you know going back to what i've said from the beginning you know i continuously get shocked at the fact that caspa continues to shock a lot of people and again it shouldn't really come as shocking to me anymore because this project has continuously proven itself in terms of momentum and the reason as to why it even has so much momentum is of course it is a layer one and it's an open source and it's a very, very unique. And a lot of people are calling it the, uh, you know, futuristic Bitcoin, like the current Bitcoin. And, um, you know, again, layer ones, layer twos, we know what happened to them last bull cycle. And the reason as to why Caspa continues to move is because people are reminiscing the previous bull cycle. You look at it yourself. You go look at the top 100 coins. You'll see tons of layer ones, tons of layer twos. And at the end of the day, the main focus where layer ones and layer twos are to really solve Ethereum's um, you know situations and you know the problems Ethereum goes through, scalability issues. Of course, transaction fees are so high. Uh, but, you know, we haven't really seen someone come out and take over Ethereum in terms of market cap because, of course, Ethereum is considered now as a store of value. Um, a lot of institutions treat it as a store of value. Now, a lot of investors treat it as a store of value because, remember, you know, it was the, um, you know, actual altcoin that actually still stuck around uh, all these years. And if you guys follow me on my channel, you guys know the story that I've told you, Ethereum I remember when it was at $7. Yep, you guys will be shocked at that. I remember when Ethereum was at $7. And at that time, people were like, oh, this is going to fail, this and that. But the people that held, you know, fast forward uh, six, seven years, you're looking at, you know, crazy amount of gains, life-changing gains. But basically what I'm trying to say is there's so much layer ones, layer twos, and you can see this for yourself. And they made some people quite wealthy. And now people are saying, you know, what is that next layer one? What is that next? coin of the cycle and everyone is pointing at caspa and caspa continues to show that every bull cycle you'll see one coin that gets talked about a lot and this cycle is none other than caspa itself and caspa continues to show us that it's not slowing down anytime soon and the hype factor is the important thing remember guys at the end of the day hype plays a major major role and it has that for itself so guess what all these exchanges are on the sidelines now in my opinion i think the big boys are accumulating or they're just waiting for the perfect opportunity before they announce the listing maybe they have already accumulated um you know caspa but you know timing is everything so we need to keep these factors in mind because if we're looking at bitcoin which is the king of the markets bitcoin is uh showing us a little bit of a retracement again um obviously at this twenty-six thousand five hundred dollar mark 
um, which is causing the entire market to be in red. And of course, dominance continues to be um, high. It's at 50%. And, you know, obviously these factors are the reason as to why majority of the altcoins are not moving against Bitcoin. You know, they're more down compared to BTC, but not Caspa. Why is that the case? Because literally everyone is talking about Caspa. Everyone's, cons everyone's comparing Caspa to Cardano, which is crazy, right? Everyone is saying that Caspa is the next ADA. Uh, and I've you know made some comparisons with Cardano's market valuation and of course with Avalanche as well. And if that were to be um, you know to come true, you know, Caspa could be literally at crazy highs. So, you know, if we're looking at the price right now. You can see, of course, we hit almost a 5.5 cents all-time high, which was on September 21st. I did see a retracement all the way down to that 4.3 cents mark, which I did say would be that next support line if we were to drop. And that's exactly where we dropped up to, but we're seeing it once again pick up. And it does not want to drop below. And why is that the case? Now, you may be saying, why is Caspa not retesting the 3.5 cents mark? And why is it not going back down there, Crypto ZX? reason why that's the case is because guys the buying pressure right now for caspa just continuously is too high so sure there could be some massive whales that are coming in and selling caspa but it's not big enough uh, for it to impact the price for too long uh, towards the downside because a lot of people are bullish on the project so you know it gets picked up right away so let's say someone's throwing uh 10 million dollars on the sell wall it gets eaten right away so that shows the momentum and whenever you see those things that shows that you know, project is extremely hyped. And the fact that it's almost at 5 cents right now, it hit a 5.5 cents without the bigger exchanges really tells you what the future has for this thing, especially being a layer one. So, you know, I like what I'm seeing. Of course, I am projecting possibly even before the month of September comes to an end, we could be retesting all time highs because guys, look at it. We're literally only 14% away from all time highs. So if Bitcoin decides to push back into the 61.8 in the next coming days we could even see caspa hitting an all-time high possibly even in the next day or two of course tomorrow is monday and we know uh, over the weekends i don't really can take the bitcoin's price uh too importantly on the weekends because you know cme futures are um closed and of course you know price is manipulated like insanely in, on over the weekend so on the weekday, Monday, that's where we really see how the market reacts. So it's going to be very interesting to see that. I'm going to uh, be very closely monitoring that um, because I honestly think if Bitcoin sees a little bit of a bounce, um, I could see uh, the Caspa pushing towards newer all-time highs. And I still believe before any of these Binance listings or Kraken or Coinbase, we will see a 6 or 6.5 cents caspa uh you know before one of those listings so let me know down below what you guys think overall guys i continue to really am insanely impressed as to how good this is holding and let me know what you guys are doing right now are you guys accumulating your caspa have you guys um gotten all your caspa what is your exit strategy let's talk about exit strategy um you know where would you be talking locking in your profits let me know in the comment section but with that said i will see you tomorrow in crypto zx and peace out